The heads of South Korea's diplomatic missions abroad were invited to the presidential office on Monday. The gathering was more than just about giving due encouragement and thanks for representing the country. Our Hang Ho Jun with the details. President Moon emphasized that since the start of his administration, he has put the most emphasis on diplomacy when conducting state affairs, underlining the fact that he has visited seven countries and has spent about one of his seven months in office abroad. President Moon's remarks were delivered during a special event to which he invited about 180 heads of diplomatic missions abroad and dozens of cabinet members and foreign ministry officials to the Blue House for dinner. During his speech, President Moon stressed that the most critical values that he hopes to apply to Seoul's diplomacy are the national interest and the people. And for that to happen, he said it's not only necessary to expand Korea's diplomatic horizons, but also to put great value on pragmatic and balanced diplomacy by diversifying Seoul's diplomatic sphere while respecting the traditional diplomacy with allies. The South Korean president also called for efforts to speed up the process of linking South Korea's new northern and new southern policies to China's One Belt, One Road initiative, which he had stressed during his state visit to China last week. The new northern and new southern policies are to expand South Korea's diplomatic horizon with Eurasian and Southeast Asian nations, while the One Belt, One Road initiative is President Xi's strategy to build the world's largest economic cooperation platform by connecting China to Central, West and parts of South Asia. President Moon pledged that he and his government will support the ambassadors and consulates abroad, who he said are not so different from the national team of athletes who will be competing in Pyeongchang as they too are representing Korea. However, the South Korean president also stressed that it would take more than just money and power for them to win the hearts of the countries they're deployed to and said it all comes down to being genuine. Hong Jun, Arirang News.